This is uh, a video <clears throat> that I need to put out there to address just a few things. And I want to start off by saying Happy New Year. I can't wait to moving forward in 2020 like many of you and put the past behind us. This is going to be the greatest, not just year, but decade of harvest. God is raising up a whole new wineskin of ministry and leadership. And we do not want to get distracted by some of the things that the enemy is wanting to really distract the church with. I, for one, and my wife, Jessa Bentley, and our team here have decided after nearly six months of public Facebook and tribunals and investigations. Could you imagine almost half a year? In fact, what many don't know behind the scenes is that it started in January, almost a whole year now since I was on a trip in Russia. I've been dealing with a lot of behind the scenes things. And I thank God I've had this year, really all of 2019, all of last year, to really evaluate in my life areas that I knew I wanted to come higher in. And I thank God I have zero, no unconfessed sin from my past, whether it was in the last year or whether it was in the last, I, I guess there was a statement about talking to individuals about sin from 2014, that it's okay that we can have zero relationship with people that want to form a panel and then just make judgments, though they've never one time talked to me and never even talked to me other than one tribunal judge my entire life. It leads me to believe the church does not want a place where we can just launch investigations and private investigations and then have a panel of five people write about anybody. It's sad to me that not even the tribunal judges have made the attempt to come to our other side to ask us the hard questions about, again, I want to be clear, past, no unaddressed, confessed past sin. My wife is on the broadcast standing with me and our family. We want that respect and privacy. We want the time. I stepped down in many ways from ministry almost six months ago, last year in September, you know, after our crusade in August, Revival Harvest America, I've begun to step down from all church leadership ministry things so I could take extra time to pray and seek God and get healed up. And it's been painful to have to address publicly on Facebook, which is unbiblical in the first place, it's been the most painful process you can imagine, guys, to try to defend myself when I just don't even believe there's a place in the gospel for the need to defend ourselves because we know the true heart and nature of the gospel. And if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us. That goes for me as it does for any that feel the need to judge me on old, old, old sin that was not proven to be adultery. That was not proven to be any of the craziest, most vicious Stephen Powell accusations and allegations. We've disproved everything that was in Stephen Powell's letter. And I've yet to, my, me, not only me, but my team of leaders, reputable men of character, like Ficus. Rick Joyner wouldn't have Dr. You know, or, or Michael Ficus on his team in leadership if he wasn't a man of character and family. I mean, you can't find somebody even more theologically knowledge of the scripture, I'm convinced, than Michael Ficus. And Lewis, him and his wife, 34 years of marriage, a pastor in Jacksonville, Florida, and all of a sudden, many of the others that have, have stood up and many that have been with me for more than a decade that know a lot of even my past struggles. Some of it goes back to Lakeland, Florida. We dealt with this, guys. And the claim that there was stuff up to 2019, not even true. We proved it to be false, at least with our own independent internal investigations and investigations upon investigations where I even got a criminal lawyer involved. People ask me why I got a criminal lawyer. 
because there were criminal things going on. Not only the sharing of my private information and, and the process in which people stole files from our ministry and illegally hacked into not only my social media, but people that have been proven, and I just don't want people in prison, that have been proven to take my private social media details and even fabricate and act as if they were me on Facebook and social media. Not only that, how many accounts we shut down weekly of people claiming to be Todd Bentley on Facebook anyways. And we have proven these things. This We don't want people to end up in prison because they worked for a nonprofit organization, received money, and shared in the internal conspiracy that Patricia King has been proven linked to since Patricia King in 2008 publicly said to my wife that she was Jezebel. Patricia King, that is not a mother. Patricia King has been found lying. And we have her in audio and we have her in text message. I will hold Patricia King accountable. Do not believe those things. When we have the evidence, we don't want to leak the four hours of audio. You can't make up audio. We do not want to leak the corruption that has been proven and the lies that have been proven and told. As Dr. Uh, Lewis and Michael Fickus and many others that are now starting to speak up are saying, this isn't about what Todd has or has not done. I have a public video, guys, if you haven't seen it. And you haven't been reading the statements from me and Jess or watching our videos. You probably have no idea what's going on. And we didn't want it to be public on Facebook. We've never one time wanted to be outside of biblical boundaries and air dirty laundry about anybody. And I could come on here and air so much dirty laundry about major ministries and major leaders, especially if we're going to open up the new standard of you can go back 15 years and use anything from anybody's past and anything they've been forgiven and healed and restored from and make it a case in the future. And there's no accountability. I won't stand for that, but I've got to be 100% clear. I actually appreciate Though I do not know the leaders that were a part of the tribunal, I have zero issue or zero negativity to say anything about any one leader that was on the tribunal. I appreciate their statement on Dr. Michael Brown's wall and the fact that, you know, many would say they were gracious in covering. I have zero issue and my issue has not been ever the tribunal. My reason for the lawyer I would have to come public and uncover a other host of ministries that I don't want to play their game. I don't want to play the game of the ones like Robert Dosti that has been proven to have anger and hatred, and it's proven. Stephen Powell, and they can spin it in the name of we have this victim or 60 victims. They're still not one. Can you imagine in the better part of a whole year, no accuser? Not one accuser. People keep saying, Todd, step down, repent. For what? Have you seen my repentance video? It's pinned on my public Todd Bentley Facebook wall. This very wall for my ministry page, there's a pinned video. If you haven't watched and shared that video, you missed my repentance. In fact, I might have put out more details than the tribunal themselves about my past sin. But I'm clear, not now, not in the last six months, not it's half a year. We don't want to carry this into the new decade, and I won't. We're letting go. And my wife and I are going to go after the harvest and, and do our call, and we'll do it as business people if we can't do it as a church leader. And, and my ordination, uh, you know, and my call is from God. And I will not defend a sin I've repented of. I will not defend it to people that have been proven false witness and people that have been lying and not upsiding their uh, promises. And now we have hours and hours of audio we've got. Not from Todd Bentley, by the way. Not Todd Bentley. Not Fresh Fire Ministries. I'm not threatening. But there are multiple potential lawsuits coming against a lot of ministries because they wanted to take it to this level. And they left the church hurting, bringing it into the new decade when it could have been said and dealt within the past. I just got on here to say, I'm letting go. I'm not holding on to anger and bitterness. I'm not looking to use names and accuse and uncover anybody. I just refuse to resort to the level that many others in the name of the Lord have gone to. I know my sin. I'm sorry. My wife's forgiven me. God's forgiven me, and I'm just trying to move on. I haven't even planned a 2020 public ministry event as far as where I'm traveling and speaking. I just, uh, 
I just, uh, I'm sorry and apologize again for those of you that may have ever been hurt by knowledge even of my behavior. If you participated in any, be in any behavior with me, with what I've already confessed, forgive me. I really want reconciliation with people. I don't want more and more and more and more exposures and uncovery. I'm not looking to defend and attack Michael Brown. I'm not looking to defend and attack the tribunal. They put out what they put out. I'm guilty. I have a past. But at the same time, I'm not going to let people accuse me of the stuff Stephen Powell accused me of and and what you know and people that don't want to come forward by name. If you're going to be somebody to come forward with and use your story for something and I find out I I can't promise you that me and my leaders won't make a big deal about it and we won't use names. And the only way I could end this process is I had to get a lawyer and put a cease and desist on Dr. Michael Brown because there were people talking about illegal crimes and intentionally pursuing people that were minors. Absolutely not. I would never be a part of intentionally being a part of anything illegal. So I'm not on here to just continue to address and defend. I'm just here to say I'm moving on case closed. I will not be involved in any future talks or restoration or questions case closed. And that's the decision me and my wife, Jessa Bentley, uh, have made. And what decision I'll make as far as what I might do in my future or in 2020 is is freedom between me and the Lord and the men and women of God that are around me relationally. And I will continue, as I always have, to preach the message I've preached about hope, recovery, restoration, and grace. And in this season, listen, people, let it be told truthfully that should I want to, I could probably put in motion things to destroy a lot of ministries and people, but that's not what I've been after. And don't believe for a second in the name of truth and righteousness, please don't believe for a second that there's been anything other than unbiased, let's get Todd Bentley, this goes back to Lakeland, Florida. It doesn't matter what's been said, it's been biased. And I, I bless the tribunal, I have zero issue with them and, you know, bless Dr. Michael Brown, but we're going into 2020, people. Uh, we have the big Secret Place Conference coming up here in Fort Mill, South Carolina, January 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. If you're a friend, if you're a partner, if you want to be, uh, why don't you come on out January 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th to the Secret Place Church here to the Fresh Fire Healing Center in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Uh, we're looking for.